say you have a hard drive and you want to image it onto another one, a good program is called Reflex MacRam. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, Reflex, it's free for personal use. Uh, you simply take a quote unquote snapshot of the first drive and then you plug in the second drive and blow the snapshot back onto the second drive. That's what happens 99% of the time. Sometimes you run into compatibility problems via size and stuff like that. But most of the times it's a pretty easy experience. So check out the link. Good luck. So obviously you're going to need to attach the disk you want to image to your computer. I'm using a laptop, but you can use a desktop or anything like that. Just plug it in, make sure that it's red. It's being red right now. We're going to open the Reflex software. Make sure you do it after you've turned on the drive. Here's the drive that we want to image. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to image this disk. Okay, it's going to say find a folder. I'm going to put it in my data drive. And I'm just going to hit next. Next, actually I can just hit finish. I don't want to save the backup because I only want to run it once. Hit OK. So if you don't have access to your laptop or you don't want to break your warranty or something like that, you can simply install the software onto the laptop's OS and then run it and it will back everything up to a third party location. And then if something goes wrong, you can run the software and blow it back on. Now that's great if you don't have physical access to the drives. We have physical access to the drives. You cannot back up this drive to itself. You're gonna to have to back it up to another location. In this case, we're backing it up to the second drive on this laptop. Now this thing's gonna chug away for a little bit. It's going pretty fast transfer rates, but we're gonna come back when this thing's finished. Imaging our drive has been completed. We will hit close. Now we have to close out the program because we have to swap drives. So I'm gonna close out, turn off this drive dock. Pull the old drive out, put the new drive in, turn on the drive dock, give it a second to register, and then I'm going to open Reflex again. Reflect. I keep saying Reflex. So it's reading the drive. Here's the partitions on that drive. I don't care about the partitions on that drive. So we're going to go to Restore. This is our most recent image. And does it tell me? I looked in the file on Windows and it's 100 gigs. So we're going to pull this image and we're going to restore it. It's going to bring up this window. Here is the image that we want to restore. Now we've got to select a destination. Uh, we want to restore it to this Samsung SSD. Okay, and we want to delete existing partition because it's covered in them. Select the next one, delete, next one, delete, next one, delete, and hit next. I'm going to hit finish and this thing is going to start up. Now, if your destination drive is smaller, warning the following drives will be overwritten. Yes, that is fine. Just double checking. That is fine. Okay, so it finished recovering. We're at 27 minutes to recover that. 100 gigs, so that's not too bad. And you're done. Take your drive, slap it in your system, and boot. Now, if your destination drive is smaller, than your image size. Um, you may have to edit the image partitions. So let's say you wanted to copy 250 gig solid state drive over to a 60 gig solid state drive. How would you do that? Well, if you were to image this, it'd be 250 gig uh, partition sizes. Your partitions are set up for 250 gigs, so you're not gonna be able to do anything. It'll move over um, smaller partitions, but it's not gonna move over everything that's on here because this thing is cut up and the total equals 250 gigs. So we're gonna to have to play with the original hard drives, partition sizes and data size before we image it in order for it to successfully land on the 60 gig drive without any problem. Right, so you're gonna need a tool called uh, Mini Tool Partition Wizard and it's free, links in the description. Here's my Samsung drive, it has a load of partitions. Here it is up top and we have a visual representation of what those partitions look like. And it looks like there's quite a bit of room that we can cut down. The dark is filled space, the light is not filled space. Realistically, I'm not going to be able to move this 250 gig hard drive over to a 60 gig hard drive because it simply has, um, let's look here, used space 
it has 83 gigs on one of the partitions, so we're already screwed. But this is just to give you an idea of how to do it for yourself. So we could right click resize, wherever that is, uh, move slash resize, and we can shrink this partition down, hit OK. Then we can move slash resize this partition, and we'd want to move it over to the front or the beginning of that gap. See how it moved from there to there. If we have a big gap in the middle, it's going to take up um, hard drive allocation space. So we want to shove as much as we can down to this side to shrink everything down as much as possible. When you're happy with your changes, hit apply and it'll run. After that's done, then you can go to the imaging software, the reflect imaging software and image it over. Now you can also do this going the other way. If your image is done and you have a bunch of blank space on your hard drive that you want to blow the partition to, you just do right click, move and resize, make it as big as you want. So this mini tool is great. Think about what you're doing. Think about your destination. Um, edit your partition sizes. Once again, it's got little to do with how much data you have. Of course that matters, but it's also got to do with your partition layout and your partition order. You want to shove as much as you can to the left or what amounts to the beginning of the drive so you don't have dead space taking up half of your hard drive. That is it guys. Thank you for watching. If you feel like helping out the show, make sure you do your online shopping through some links at the bottom there. Check out the programs that I featured here. You can also thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Ciao.